Hello YouTube, this is Alpha White Wolf again, bringing you the second part of my prototype playthrough. Now, as I've said, this playthrough is more for the sake of gathering footage for Mercer vs. Wesker. Um, also to keep familiarizing myself with Mercer while I also review games that feature Wesker. So familiarizing myself with both combatants while I continue working on the script, while I continue figuring out what visuals I want and where I want them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the playthrough. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and away we don't go quite as planned. Okay. Okay, uh, can still work with it, can still work with it. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get this mission started. And okay, had to buy this. Okay, so um, I'll probably try and keep my upgrade purchases limited to those abilities needed for missions, um, and maybe ones like glide and air dash, ones that'll help me get from place to place quickly. Oh yeah, I remember this. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Find anything? Jesus Christ! Don't do that. Maybe you should wear a bell. Sorry. Okay. Uh, your apartment? There's nothing left there. Understatement. Well, it doesn't matter. I've been looking at your laptop. Laptop? Yeah. It came in the package the day after you went AWOL. Look. Yeah. There are only two names in the file. One is yours. The second is this woman, Elizabeth Green. She's still in isolation at the Gentech building. Do you know who she is? Hey, whoever she is, she knows more than I do. Yeah. God. She's just a girl. What kind of fucking monsters are these people? Yeah, Dana, she's uh, a lot older than you think. Yeah, and uh, a little more twisted. But, I digress. Let's go ahead and get over there. Oh, I remember this. This was a fun bit of interact character interaction when I first played. Axiom will sweep to the river. Brimstone will encircle the entire sector and detain anyone moving through the area. I couldn't help but kinda like this guy. Sir, there are nearly one hundred thousand people in the blue zone. I'm not interested in excuses. Get it done. Hmm. A situation I think your team is well suited for. How long until your men are in place? We're prepped and waiting for orders. We can be wheels up and boots on the ground anywhere in the city in 15. With respect, sir, a suppression operation in the city of 12 million is slightly more than my men can handle. The situation has already evolved, Captain. You're not participating in the containment action. Your team has a single target. Alex Mercer, codename Zeus, is carrying a new strain. He's eliminated 50 of my men and smashed through a two-foot steel door. Are you interested? <laughs> I'm your man, sir. I don't need to tell you what's at stake. Cross always seemed like a bit of a tool when I first, um, when I first saw any cutscenes cut with him. But after a while, he just kind of grew on me. Okay. So yeah, I might invest in glide and air dash. Might it should help get from place to place a little bit quicker. And there's just nothing quite like flying around the city. But beyond that, I'll probably keep um, upgrade purchases to a minimum. As I said before, I want to try and keep Mercer as um, baseline as possible for my Wesker Mercer examination. To do that, I need to try and avoid any situations where. <laughs> Boom! Any situations where he would improve beyond what is baseline. Now, if near the end of the game I decide to see just how much these upgrades really improve him, I might make like a separate save file for that. 
Okay. I gotta find someone important who I can use to get into that facility. Hmm. Fortunately, you already have a nifty little disguise on hand. Pretty sure you wouldn't be so quick to curse at someone who just did that. If I look just like them, I should be able to walk among them. Let's go in. These spooks aren't just digging in, they're taking over. Oh shit. Yeah. I didn't. I forgot that they had the sensors this early. That uh, that always was a bit of a of a monkey wrench in my plans. Okay, but fortunately, my target, of course. And I know the moment I disable these tutorial messages, uh, a message will come up that I'm actually going to need, and I'm going to and I'm going to end up missing it. I know that's going to happen the moment I try and disable those messages. Okay. No witnesses, so I didn't do anything wrong. Let's take a look. What have we got? What the hell happened in there? Team One dropped calm just after they entered the holding cell area. That's mm. it. Close it off. No one goes in or comes out of the GenTech building. I want it sealed with level four protocols. Sounds heavy. Okay. Let's get our range. I always hated those sensors. I mean, the little floating drones that we see later on, I prefer those. The sensors were always a pain in the ass. Alright. Ooh, what lovely decor! Who's your interior decorator? <laughs> okay. I just had a flashback to Saints Row 4, one of my kind of guilty pleasure games. Anyone who's played it and saw that elevator bit, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I remember the first the first time I played this game and I came to this part, three emotions in two minutes. First, time for waiting is over. bit of fear with that, surprise with that. Third emotion. Yeah, third emotion's not too far. Yeah, so it was a bit of fear, some surprise, and. Confusion. Confusion was the third one, and it was that simple phrase. Oh, what do you know? It's back to fear. I kind of thought those were xenomorphs when I first played. Time to go. It's not the only thing that's heavy. than questioning yes private you're guarding a hole in the fucking roof you've been briefed about what we're up against we're not secure until these skylights are sealed so unless you want to pull shit patrol until your mama forgets what you look like stand your sorry ass right here until you're told to do otherwise now move it sir <laughs> yeah I'm pretty sure that the private a military base. yeah I'm pretty sure that this private would have definitely preferred shit patrol compared to what I'm bringing Yeah. 
Let's go. Yes, they are. Yeah, I'm definitely going to invest in, in Glide and Air Dash. It should be able to help me traverse these areas a little bit better. Okay, in we go. You go ahead and you go ahead and fire. I don't know what you are, but I know I'm gonna kill you. One thing that I always found kind of endearing about these marines in this game was that even though that this incredibly terrifying event just happened, where a guy just suddenly drops in from the skylight and slams into Gongreet. They're still able to smack talk. They're still able to talk some shit. Yeah. And as the title suggested, eat your heart out, Wolverine. My claws are better than yours. Like, I don't know what happened with my audio just now. It slices, it dices, it chicken fried rices. If you're watching this and you can recognize that reference, go ahead and uh, go ahead and comment down below. I'll give you a shout out for the next video. Let's go ahead and uh, leave some marines here. See shit. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still trying to get in the hang of that, of that uh, dodge roll. I need some health. They keep coming. I keep killing. Yeah, the problem is that I'm really kind of hoping that they would stop coming for a little while. Access to like every health boost available throughout the game. I would have no problem. Maybe a job better suit for the hammer fist, but I'm not sure whether or not it's available right now. And I'm kind of in the, and I'm kind of on the roof. I'm kind of in the zone. Poor marine. hated that damn tackle. These things can cross some serious ground. Let's get some distance. You guys just go ahead and keep the support coming. Oh shit. Yeah. Let's eat. 
There we go. Go ahead and try sticking with this. Ooh. Yeah, kind of hit and run tactics. If I keep moving, they, they can't really hit a moving target all that well. So I keep, ooh, keep moving. I should do well enough. There we go. Probably one of the last marines up there. Damn tackle. Oh yeah. Then there was one. Ow. Die. It was rapid fire. See shit. Okay, let's get back over there. Oh, come on. Seriously. There we go. Ow. Gotta get that one last hit in, huh? I'm definitely thinking that the private would have been more than happy to be on ship patrol compared to this. Alright. Audio's going out again. There we go. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay, let's get out of here. Put on, put on my other, put on my other skin. Give it a distance. Okay. Search and scrub. Repeat. Scrub. You good. You good. Awesome. Well, in that case, uh, I'll probably stop playing right around now. Leave this session alone. Uh, yeah. Let's go. And done. So, yeah, that was that was part two, the acquisition of Mercer's first power. Uh, like I said, uh, a shout out to anyone who can uh, identify the reference. I think I think I kind of pointed it out in my first uh, prototype video as well. But shout out if you know the reference, if you know what game it's from. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, suggest any future uh, games that you want to see played, any future videos. Stay tuned for future matchups, future reviews. And have a nice day or night. This has been Alpha White Wolf. You keep howling, Wolfpack. <laughs>